Heineken shares are up over 6% after half-year figures were better than expected. It, show, it says that cost savings were one of the factors behind the better earnings. Underlying profit grew nearly 10% to $1.9 billion, a tentative recovery they're seeing in Europe. But by contrast, Carlsberg of Denmark is trading more than 3% lower. It issued a second profit warning, and that's its second of the year, saying it expects operating profits to fall in 2014 due to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine crisis. Now, CNN's Jim Bolden spoke earlier to Heineken CEO. Jim joins us now live from London. You know, Jim, there were some underlying good news for the world's uh, third largest brewer. A lot of it had to do with its consumers going to premium brands. But is there still that underlying concern about the European economies? Yes, well, when I talked to Mr. Uh, Van Boxmeer about that, and he said, of course, uh, Russia can remain a challenge. And Eastern Europe, in fact, is actually seeing some declines. But Heineken is very well placed, he says, because of the premium brands they have around the world. So they're able to grow in other areas if they see some areas that are weakening. Uh, and as you said, Heineken has been going through a very strong reorganization as well. And he was able to squeeze a more profit out of that uh, volumes up 6.6% in beer. Uh, and so Heineken, very uh, positive statements. But as I said, when you talk about uh, Eastern Europe, we saw uh, growth declining in Poland, in Romania, in Greece, and Russia remains a challenge. So when I spoke to Mr. Uh, Van Boxmeer earlier today, I asked him, does he think that Russian sanctions are going to hurt Heineken in Eastern Europe in the second half? This is what he had to say. Up so far, uh, the fundamentals uh, in, in Russia itself has not been affected uh, by, by the conflict. A lot of our inputs are uh, from Russia, so we stay largely unaffected by the, uh, the sanction game that is uh, gearing up between the uh, Europe and, uh, and, and, and Russia. But obviously, I think it would not leave without consequences. Now, one has to realize we are a worldwide company. We're everywhere in the world. There is al always something in the world which is going wrong. Uh, what is good about Heineken is that we are also uh, in parts uh, which are strong. And so the impact of, uh, of Russia on our total numbers is, is not that, uh, that big, although we, we hope, of course, for the better. Now, Paula, he also told me that good weather in Europe has helped. The World Cup helped. Heineken's very strong in football. Uh, and he said that he would actually see the second half not as good as the first half, with volumes going down a little bit. Currencies also hurting Heineken as well, being part of a very strong Eurozone uh, currency. So that's affecting them as well. But again, Heineken, very different from Carlsberg, doesn't really rely that much on Russia as one of its main markets, and it's able to see growth in other areas.